Hey plugin generation, this is Mirko Russo, ClangLab.com. Welcome in a new video. This time is the turn of a tutorial about the pointer tools in Logic Pro X. The proficient use of the different pointer functions is an effective way to spare some precious time during the editing of audio or MIDI regions. If you want to change the pointer function without moving the pointer and clicking on the drop-down menu up here, you can simply press T. Now you can choose among the many options available, for example the eraser tool, use it and again press T to choose the normal pointer. But there's a quicker way, because as you can see there's a shortcut attached to each pointer function, so try and remember the ones that you will need the most and your workflow will benefit from it. For example, say I want to use the scissors and the eraser tool to cut a section of a region. T, I, T, E, and T, then T, to go back to the normal pointer. From this example you can see clearly how much quick you can be and how much time you can spare. Now let's see further examples. Another function that most likely you will use all of the time, the fader tool. Just press T and then A. The glue tool to glue together different regions on the same channel, T then G. To create a new MIDI or drum region, T then P. To zoom on a portion of the grid, T then Y. Now, a couple of tools that are specific for the automations. First of all, show the automations with A. Then you can select the automation pressing T and then U, so you can move that automation. And if you want to change the automation curve, T, then W. So these are just a few examples, so try these yourself, memorize the commands for the tools that you need the most, and improve your editing skills on Logic Pro X. If this video is useful, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to watch more videos about these topics in the future and to press the like button to leave some comments down below and also while you're there to check some of the links in the info box. See you next time!